Hey guys, Nick with two. Just doing a quick video, another quick video on the update of shop. Um, I'm moving stuff in. I got this guy in and I uh, haven't put all my tools in them yet. Got my grinder in. Uh, I got this dish grinder uh, from my uncle. I need to get all this stickiness off of it um, and some stick on pads for it. Uh, don't have any of those, but I got it for free, so no complaining there. And I don't have, think it has a reverse, though. Um, my post vice is going to go in the forge room. This junk is mostly all going to be thrown away. This is going to be my, basically my grinding room little cart. Uh, I'll put it next to, you know, where I'm going to work and stuff, and it'll hold stuff. I'm gonna put my long workbench in here uh, for putting drill presses, uh, smaller grinders on, uh, and on all the belts underneath and everything and that kind of nature. In the middle room, I got this is gonna be kind of like a clean room. Um, yeah, it's not organized how I want it. This the, this uh, workbench is a little sticks out a little farther than I'd like, so it's not able to fit against the wall because um, the door hits it. So it's gonna go in the middle. This one is really just a temporary one. Still, uh, I have an area right here where I want to build a proper, like a woodworking workbench um, for when I do sayas and and you know uh sheaths uh kind of cleaner cleaner work here i guess i uh, once it's all cleaned off i can do some tig welding once i get a machine storage still haven't gotten everything it's still a mess um so in here i don't know if you can tell this area and right the area right here where these tape is. Basically, I'm just gonna cut out a door so that I can open it up, get airflow in here, and when I'm grinding all the dusts and stuff, I can fling it out the door. Um, and it's a easier pathway to, you know, get my air compressor in here and then blow every all the dust out. Um, you know, when I, you know, every, you know, six months or a year, whenever I get around to do it. And in here, my forge room, I got my tempering oven. Um, this is stuff is going to be, become my forge table. Um, it's going to sit about here and come out probably four feet um, for that. Um, propane, just sitting here temporarily. It's going to go find a home somewhere else. Um, Anvil storage kind of right here at the moment while I'm getting stuff into the shop um, Forge room is the first room in um, because fire um, And I got my other anvils they'll sit here and be arranged in a very easy way to work. I want to have this one as like a welding uh, Anvil it'll be pretty much like the forge table will be right here and then the anvil will be right in front of it um, so I can just pull the piece out and weld it um, forge weld it immediately rather than turning turning around and risk having it fall off and stuff like that um, so that's what I'm thinking about doing at the moment um, might change might not um, Anvil on the stand. My striker's anvil is going to go probably in this corner here so uh, I can get some two people working on it uh, if I need be. I got my crucible forge and my uh, quench, heat quench, heat treating oil, Parks 50, bladesmith anvil. It's all just moving in basically. It's gonna be a couple weeks probably because I only get to do this not very often. 
at the moment. Um, so just one day at a time, just organizing stuff and probably gonna go to Home Depot and get some more boxes for organizing stuff so I can take up more of the room efficiently. Um, so that's it for right now. Uh, pretty much all I have to say. I'm gonna use some of this pipe to make a, a metal kind of organization tool for, you know, blade steel. I don't know where that's gonna go. Um, probably in the middle room. Somewhere, probably in this corner. I'll have a, a chest of drawers here for tools and then I'll have a corner for all my tool steels and stuff like that. Bars and stuff. So that'll be fun. But uh, that's it. That's the progress for this week. Uh, tune in next week. Hopefully I'll have everything in the the shop that I want. And I can be begin construction on the forge table and stuff like that. I'm going to have a, a chimney go out the side wall rather than the roof. Because the roof is going to cause water problems and stuff like that. So I'll go out the side wall and then go up. Um, but I'll have to save up for that. Because chim 10 inch chimney, you know, black iron pipe or black pipe is still super expensive. I only need like 12 ish feet of it, but it's still super expensive. So, and then I have to build the forge hood, which is going to be fun. So, stay tuned. Hope you like uh, the updates.